I had a gas leak. Well, I still got it actually. But I rigged up this contraption right here, which I don't know, maybe the the light there, but I got about 18 pounds of pressure in it. Just a little T there, a nipple, cap, tire valve stem, just like you'd put it in a car rim, pull it through, let it pop, went and got a gauge, and tapped it in here off of this uh, nipple here. Cut this old pipe, was going to the front of the house, had a leak, or they said. But anyway, I rigged up this uh, Mountain Dew bottle with some soapy water, took, uh, put a little hole in the cap, and uh, took a, a filament uh, out of a, uh, an ink pen. Took the ball pen point out of it and popped a real small hole in the cap of it, just enough so when you shove it through it's real tight so it doesn't leak. But what you do is you take it, and it's a lot better than uh, say a spray bottle. See that stream like that? Because if you're taking a spray bottle and spraying it, you're actually spraying bubbles onto it. But I went all over everywhere and come to find out it's real small. You see them right here? See these uh, real fine bubbles here, here, and here. And uh, I can wash them away and they'll slowly come right back. But this is where the leak is. Yeah, try to get it in focus for you, but you'll see what I'm talking about. But this little uh, Mountain, Boot, Mountain Dew bottle and uh, some dish soap. I probably put about a quarter cup uh, of uh, dish soap to the rest water. But uh, it found my leak. I went through the all the rest of the pipes. Couldn't find any more. You can see how small that there's just now starting to come back where I doused it a while ago. But I'm gonna have to split this pipe right here. I'm gonna have to cut it, take it, thread it, and put a uh, a union in between here but so I can get in there to fix it because this is threaded back over to this other side right here so there's no way to unscrew it. If you try to unscrew this uh, left it's actually tightening it up into that one so that won't work. It's got to be cut. You got to cut it and put a union in somewhere. Why not about right here where it's real simple. That's probably what I'll do. I'll cut it about right here. But uh, mainly I just wanted to show you this technique uh, for finding gas leaks that, you're, that you couldn't normally find. Because those are real, real tiny. Real tiny. If it was a bigger leak, uh, I mean, you'd have bigger bubbles. But uh, that, that little contraption right there, and you just take a little uh, a pump and pump it up. I may have a little too much. I don't know. I've got about, oh, say 15, 16 pounds of pressure. And it's hold. I mean, I mean, it held overnight, and it got down to, I mean, two or three pounds. So, I mean, the leak is so small, it probably wouldn't even matter. But because I know it, I'm gonna go ahead and fix it anyway. But uh, you know, uh, that probably wouldn't. Have, but the main leak, they said they smelled it in the front of the house, and this pipe goes towards the front of the house. So, um, just want to show you guys if y'all got a leak and. Uh, and you're somewhat mechanically inclined, rig yourself up a little adapter there uh, with a gauge, pressurize it, hold it, make yourself a, a soda bottle with an ink pen filament in there. Of course, you're going to wash the ink out of the middle of it, but uh, that's how I found mine. All right, y'all. Hope you liked it.